When working with a new distributor, you're going to have to sign a distributor agreement. Now, what's in that agreement is all pretty standard. However, how you negotiate that could be the detriment or success of your product. So one of the things that really stands out, that's probably one of the biggest things that you need to discuss, strategize about, and really think about is exclusivity. So when working with a larger national distributor, they're often going to want exclusivity for a small period of time, if not an extended period of time. It depends on the product. Usually exclusivity is reserved um, in perpetuity for products that are coming in from outside the U.S. If you're bringing in the next Red Bull from you know Japan, you're going to want exclusivity on that product so that no other product or no other company is going to be able to sweep it out from under your feet. You know, you're going to want to be the exclusive representative of that product in the U.S. Um, however, when we're talking about you bringing a product into market and let's say New York City, and you speak to a distributor that promises he's going to have you in every single bodega in New York City, that's not going to be the case. And if they ask for exclusivity of the product, then you're going to want to rethink that or you're going to want to make sure that's a very short period of time so that you're able to grow your business and you're not handcuffed to an agreement that really holds you back from growing. Because at the end of the day, with retail products, if you're not moving product, you're not making money. So the second thing you're going to want to really work on is territory. Where can they sell? Where can they not sell? And do they have a territory that they need to stay in? Um, that's going to be a conversation that you're going to want to have before having that conversation with the distributor because you're not going to want to have that you know, without knowing your other products, territories, without knowing where other distributors are stopping and they're starting. You want, want to review the previous agreements that you have with distributors before starting a new one. Next one is going to be termination. So let's say you bring on a distributor and he goes to jail you know you're going to want to terminate that agreement so that you know you don't you can don't have to be beholden to that contractor so having a termination clause in there is very important because at the end of the day I, i've seen a lot of products make these mistakes where they don't have the necessary language in there and they're handcuffed by their agreements, which can be a huge detriment, especially when it comes to fees. One way that a lot of distributors and retailers are making their money now is by taking the fees that they would have earned on the margin and the markup on the back end and putting it on the front end. There's a lot of incremental fees, like having the product sitting in the warehouse too long, having the product packed on the pallet wrong, having the wrong amount of product on the pallet. There's a lot of small incremental fees that you need to be aware of so that you can prepare for that and know ahead of time. But it's often the slotting fees that kill you, the you know overage fees, uh, returns. Um, yeah, there's a lot of little fees in there. Have that all pre-negotiated in the agreement and understand that that's going to be coming out of your end so that when you're negotiating your wholesale amount that you're selling it to them, the amount that the distributor's margin is going to be reduced because of those fees. Last, you're going to want to know the length of the term of the agreement. So is it going to renew every six months? Is it going to renew every year? Are you going to want to be renegotiating those rates? Because, you know, the cost goes up as We've seen over the pandemic, you know, the shipping costs have skyrocketed. You're brunting those costs and you can't pass that along until the length of your contract has been gone. Or if you do, you want to build it into your agreement. So knowing these things ahead of time is very important and being prepared for what may be an eventuality is going to be even more important to the life and the success of your product.